Hi guys, Brandy here. So, I, as some of you may know, I have a condition that I've been suffering with for a couple of years now, gastroparesis and chronic malabsorption syndrome. It's not very fun, but uh, you got to deal with what you got to deal with, right? So, um, I have to eat a lot of proteins and, um, you know, just try to get what I can down. Um, food is a huge issue for me, but anywho, uh, this is a really quick and easy snack. I like to eat it with whole grain crackers or, you know, what have you. Um, can't do a whole lot of preservatives, but I definitely try to from time to time. So, um, sardines, they are packed with omega-3 fatty acids, a wonderful source of protein. I mean, they're just great for your brain and your body, and they don't taste very nice to me anyway. So, um, but I've actually figured out this little recipe and a couple of other renditions of it. Um, you know, I've used capers, fresh dill, sun-dried tomatoes, but this one's just really quick. Um, like I said, I want to eat it with crackers, so... I'm going to show you exactly how I do it today. So this is what you're going to need. We've got some ginger, some, I like the Kewpie mayo normally, but I don't have enough of it. So we're going to be using the Hellman's. Um, I have smoky salt. I have the sardines. These are packed in water. Um, olive oil. Uh, I also enjoy using that one. I've got some dried dill, some uh, ground paprika, some peppercorn. I have a shallot, two eggs, and I'm thinking about throwing a scallion in there too. I don't know. It might be too oniony. But um, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and mash my egg up, uh, mince my scallion, throw my stuff together, and I'll show you what it looks like here in just a few minutes. Alrighty, you guys, there you have it. That is my sardine spread. Um, it took, like I said, if you already have the eggs boiled, it takes maybe five minutes to throw it all together. Um, I put some dried parsley on the top. I'm out of fresh. I have to go to the grocery store this afternoon. I'm really not looking forward to that. <laughs> but um, sardines, they're a really versatile food. Um, you know, I joke because they're not my favorite, but they are a soupy superfood, and it, there are so many benefits to eating them. So, I, I recommend them. I recommend that you find a way that you like them. Um, I know that they're, like, you can put them in salads. I know that there's a Sicilian pasta that I had once before um, that was really good. Uh, they eat them with eggs and tomato sauce on the stove. Um, you just dip, like, a pita in it or something, and it's really good that way. But just find a way that you like to eat it and have at it because it's really good for you. I like it with the Townhouse Flipside Crackers. Um, now they are not, uh, they're made with wheat flour, so they're not gluten free. So if you're, if you have an intolerance to gluten, you're going to have to find, um, you know, your favorite cracker and try it on that. But let's try it and see if this one turned out okay. Um, you could put it with, you know, some cheese, some cheese squares for a little bit more protein. 
Um, I might do that. I'm not sure. Uh, it's still kind of early this morning, but I wanted to go ahead and get it out of the way to make Mama happy, you guys. So, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Let me turn you around. Oh, other side. Yeah, let me turn you around. Ooh, hey. That was kind of close, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, all right, let's go ahead and try it. Pardon my chewing. I'm not a fan of watching people chew either, but I don't know any other way to, you know, eat it. <laughs> That is really good. I'm glad that I added the scallions to it because it kind of brightened it up. Um, you could add lemon juice or lemon zest or lime or any kind of citrus to it. Um, more pepper. You could add sriracha and make it spicy, but I didn't do that today. So, anywho, I'm going to grab my tea. I'm going to grab this, and uh, I'm going to go get ready for the day. So, I'll talk to you guys later. If you try it, let me know down below what you thought about it. If you have a recipe that you enjoy that uses them, I'd also like to know that as well. So I will talk to you later. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful day. Bye.